Hi friends! Today we're going to continue using our place value discs to show 100 more, 100 less, 10 more, 10 less, and 1 more, 1 less. So you learned a little bit about this in first grade, but you're going to learn even more about it today. So we're going to start by showing 110 on our place value chart. So in my hundreds place, I'm going to put 100, and then in my tens place, I'm going to put a and then in my ones place, I'm not going to put anything. Now, let's count up to 150. Count with me. I'm at 110, 120, 130, 140, 1, 150. Nice. Now, think in your brain. What is 10 more than 150? So if you're in the classroom, you would say 10 more than 150 is... If you said 10 more than 150 is 160, you'd be correct. I added a group of 10, and now I have 160. How many do I have now? That's right, now I have 170. 107 groups of 10. What is 10 more than 170? Okay. 10 more than 170 is 180. So I would say 10 more than 170 is 180. Now let's count by ones until I get to 186. So at 180, I'm hit 181, 182, 183, 184, 185, 186. And look how neat my place value discs are. I want you to think in your brain. Make sure that when you're exploring on your place value disc website, and if you have these in real life, that yours are just as neat as mine. Because if they were all jumbled up like this, do you think it would be easy to count? No, ma'am. No, sirree. we got to make sure they're neat, neat, neat as pie. Neat as day. Just like that. So now I'm at 186. So now I have a new challenge. This time, I want to know what is one more. So you're going to say one more than hmm is hmm. So I've got my new sentence stem right here for you guys. One more than 186 is what? Think in your brain. What is one more than 186? Mm -hmm. 187. So one more than 186 is 187. What is one more than 187? 188. One more than 187 is 188. Now we're at 188. Okay, what happens if I add a 100? What happens if I add a 100? So now we're doing 100 more than 188. 100 more than 188 is that's right, 288. So 100 more than 188 is 288. What if I add one more 100? What is 100 more than 288? 388. Nice job. You guys are experts. Now, on your own, you're going to draw or type the answers into this table. So I see I have three three-digit numbers up here, 242, 153, and 312. I have to figure out what's 100 more and 100 less. So for 242, I could build it on my Didax website, the website where we have our place value disks, and I'm going to include that in our slides. And then I can find out what is 100 more, right? So I could say 100 more than 243. Well, I know that it's only the hundreds that's changing. So I'm going to say that that's 342. And then if it's 100 less than 242, I'm going to say that that's one less hundred. So that's 142. You're going to do the same thing for this one and this one. Then you're going to find out what's 10 more and 10 less than those three same numbers. And then you'll find out what's one more and one less than those three same numbers. I'm going to have the website in this Nearpod that you guys can move your place value disks apart. 
but I'm also going to put it in your Google Classroom. And that way you can have both up at the same time in different tabs. So if this is a tab that I have my Nearpod on, I can have this tab that would have my, my website with my place value disks on it there. Finally, you are going to also do this fill in the blanks activity where you are going to read it and then put the numbers in where they match. So the same way that we were doing this 100 more, one more and 10 more, etc. You're going to say one more than 314 is think in your brain, you can use your website, and then you're going to move the number there. One more than 314 is 315. Okay, have fun.